When it comes to movies, anime, TV shows, or even your own life, you feel a sense of enjoyment, as if you wish it would never end. But it does. I can't believe you came. That's what she said. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to make an ending to a story, the types of endings in a story, what makes a good and bad ending. Not in all that, not in that order. But yeah, let us begin. Good endings. Good endings aren't endings that end happily, but that just do a great job on wrapping things up very well with no problem at all. I mean, a good ending must always make sense, invoke feelings onto the audience, open the audience's mind, curiosity, brings everything to a conclusion, and is somewhat realistic. Your ending doesn't need to have exactly one of those points, but including at least one of them could give it a bit of an edge. Don't go thinking adding a character death will make your ending better, because it will need very good execution to make the impact beautiful. Bad endings. Bad endings, like to what I said earlier, they are not where the main character dies or loses, oh no, because that would be somewhat cool. Bad endings are rather endings that conclude poorly, or just don't disappoint. Bad endings tend to be confusing, disappointing, unrealistic, have nothing to do with the theme or story, cop-outs, or just riddled with plot holes. If your ending is confusing and ends with the character doing something silly, like somehow magically saving the day, thanks to a MacGuffin that just leaves more questions unanswered, and feels like everything we've been through is just pointless. I don't see it being a way to end a story. Maybe in comedies, but that would be stretching it a bit. <laughs> Avoid these things with caution. Like, just do it. Types of endings. Now, I'm going to list the types of endings in many stories. I'm not saying to use them, but these are just many of them you should be aware of at least. Just in case you ever want to do something goofy with them. Resolved endings. Simply put, they are endings where all loose ends are tied up and everyone lives happily ever after. Or not. It doesn't matter. It ends with everything just making sense and being there. Cliffhangers, an ending that ends with more questions unanswered, usually left to grab the interest of the audience so they can still be with them. You know, usually used at the end of chapters to get them all set for the next week's chapters until you're cancelled. Plot twist, simply put their endings used to surprise the audience themselves. It can be subtle or groundbreaking, but sometimes your audience can see it as being cheap. If, especially if you use a deus ex mucin, with de, de, fuck, how do you say it? A deus ex machina. The ending should definitely make sense if you're doing a plot twist. You maniacs! Ambiguous ending, one of my favorite types. Unlike cliffhangers, ambiguous endings allow the audience to decide what happens next. Did Tony Soprano die? Did they have, or did they have a fucking good ass dinner? An ending that allows the reader enough information to form their own opinions and theories is simply amazing to me. Full circle. Endings that go back to how they started, very similar to a hero's journey. It simply ends where the dude began. Hey dude, where's my car? <laughs> what a classic. <laughs> Tragedies. Fucking everyone fucking dies. The mailman, your mom, the dad, the fucking love interest. EVERYONE DIES! <coughs> Sorry. How to make an ending. When ending your story, always consider a couple things, mainly these four. Themes, characters, audience, and timing. Does your ending tie in with the theme of the story and have an answer to it? Do your characters learn something and does it pay off? Do your characters grow into better people and in the end, do they become worse? than they were before or better off than they are now did your audience understand what's going on did it feel like your audience felt the emotion you wanted to convey is your ending too long is it too short did it come out of nowhere Th these are many things to consider or else 
your audience will be like, what the fuck, dude? Your theme is the whole idea of what the story is about. It tends to show near the beginning or middle, and it shines very near the end. Most stories don't have themes and are just random raw XD lol bullshits, but a powerful tool that can flesh out characters beautifully are themes. However, if you lack a theme, no biggie. Some co comedies don't have one either. Characters are the soul and body of every story. Characters are basically us inside the story itself. We inject our own feelings onto them, and we can often feel what they feel. Confusion, rage, sadness. Point is, relatable characters don't make them perfect or great, but having them with relatable situations is absolutely amazing at times. So simply put, how do you, your characters feel about the ending? What's their reaction? Do they move on with their lives? Do they fucking live? Do they die? Are they happy? Are they sad? Just be realistic is all I can really say. Audience. Does your audience understand what's happening? Are they feeling what they want to feel? This can all be altered with the writing and the events of a story to help tune up the desire you wish. But again, simplicity is very great because it just makes the whole audience feel a whole lot smarter than how they already are. Timing. Is the ending rushed? Did your whole story feel like a long ride that made sense, or a quick blur to the finish line? I know being slow is also a big killer as well that can leave a lot of fans to drop it. So is the ending rushed or is it perfect? It's always best to check in with a friend. Never be afraid of critique, especially for a story. Consider these the big four when it comes to ending a story. These will help lead you to the right direction. In all honesty, your story itself comes all the way down to you. Some tips I can offer you at this point are create your endings first. It makes the rest of the storyline way easier to develop, trust me. Ask a friend to check out your stuff as I said previously. You know, make them ask a lot of questions, it helps flesh out your story too. Don't be afraid of changing anything. Change in a story is very common and can help make your story way better than it definitely can be. But yeah, that's all the input I can put into this subject, but whatever, good night. Yeah. <laughs>